today David and Catherine proclaim their love to the world and we celebrate with them and for them. In marriage we give ourselves freely and generously into the hands of the one we love and in doing so we receive the love and trust of the other as our most precious gift. This gift is shared by two people who are in love yet it also touches the lives of friends and family members who encourage and support their relationship. All of you here today are David and Catherine's community and each of you has played a role in bringing them to this moment. Catherine made my job as her father easy. She's smart and reliable, sweet and considerate. She loves giving more than she loves receiving. She's a hard worker, superb planner, and a heck of an organizer. She doesn't get that from me. As a youngster, she could be a bit timid to try new things. Fact is, if she don't want to try it, she could be quite hard-headed and she wouldn't want to. No-go activities included roller coasters, log flumes, jet skis, eating casseroles. <laughs> or the placement of any green vegetable over her lips. Catherine is a fierce and determined competitor who gives her all. Catherine's passion is present in everything she does, but nowhere is it perhaps more evident, more powerful, or more intense than her love for others. David, I know she loves you fiercely, so everyone else better watch out. I want to thank you for treating Catherine like a princess, not just today, but every day. We're blessed to have you as a son-in-law. Catherine and David, we love you. We wish you every happiness and congratulate you both. You make a great couple and I know you'll enrich the lives of each other as well as those around you. David and Catherine, today's a special day. Um, it's not just a day of celebration of your love for one another. It's more than that. True love is a it's commitment. True love is more than just feelings and emotions. It's a, it's a commitment. Today's a day of commitment. It's also a day of commitment to God. God divinely established and ordained marriage between a man and a woman. Because of that, marriage is also a commitment to God. We are all here today to witness before God your commitments to one another. Catherine, you are a blessing. You're a blessing to David. You're David's, you're David's match. Uh, truly a match made in heaven. Your uh, strength, and your steadfastness, your kindness, your love for Christ, and your love for Jesus, and your love for David is a blessing. David, you, my son, you're a good man, and I'm proud of you. Couldn't be more proud of you, son. I know you're a blessing to Catherine. I know you'll continue to be a blessing to her. David and Catherine, I challenge you to grow in your faith in Christ. Only as you grow in Christ Jesus will you fully grow together in this union. So I've known David basically my whole life. Um, he used to be my cousin, and I just liked him so much I had to become his brother. <laughs> Back when me and David were, I think, like 10 or 11, there was a group of these two girls that um, were running on the greenway as we rode our, boat, or our bikes by. I don't know which of us came up with the scheme. I think it was David. He's like, what if we wreck the bikes in front of them and then they'll stop and help us up. Neither of us owned the bikes we were riding, 
but we still thought it would be a good idea. I was running the bikes right at him, and I turned into David. He turned into me. We literally flipped over the handlebars and crashed, and the girls ran on by. <laughs> that was the first time me and David talked about girls. <laughs> I thought we got pretty close anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Pretty close. David, I cannot believe that July 13th has arrived. Today we commit ourselves to each other in front of God and all of our friends and family. Catherine, my greatest blessing, my encourager, my partner in crime, my greatest love, and my best friend. Today is the day I get to proclaim my love and commitment to you in front of all of our family and friends. I can't read anymore. <laughs> and celebrate this amazing thing God has given us. I love you more today than yesterday or the day before. Thank you for loving me so well. Thank you for comforting me and encouraging me when life gets tough. You have given me the greatest joy and fulfillment that a man can possibly feel. There are not words to express how excited I am for today and the many years to come. I prayed for you and that prayer was answered on August 1st, 2018. I knew from the first time I met you that I wanted to surround myself around you. My marvelous, wonderful, incredible bride. I love you to the moon and back. I shall see you soon. Te amo para siempre. Yours forever and always, David. Scripture calls for you to love David submissively as a partner, a helpmate. Embrace this role. Demonstrate your love to David with this God-given role. And David, God calls you to love Catherine with a sacrificial service love. Just as Jesus himself sacrificially loved the church and gave of himself, David embraced this role. Demonstrate your love to Catherine by leaving the marriage in a way that honors God. David and Catherine, as we've talked several times, we're all here to help create a memory and to celebrate with you. I, David, take you, Catherine, to be my wife. I will love you more each day than I did the day before. I, Catherine, take you, David, to be my husband. I will trust you and respect you, regardless of the obstacles we may face together. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love. From this day forward, as long as we both shall love. David's claim to fame is that he was one of the only people, actually the only person who never wrecked on the longboard. Uh, everybody over there has scars, broken bones, concussions. Seriously, we have them. David doesn't. I remember one time we were on UT's campus. To this day, he's going about 25 miles an hour. I still don't really understand how he didn't fall. Most remarkable thing I've ever seen in my life. David's name is in massive letters in my parents' driveway to this day. David's not going anywhere. David, I love you, man. You're my brother forever, literally, because of the driveway. Um, and uh, I can't wait to do life with you guys. Love you. Catherine, your friendship has been one of the greatest adventures of my life, and I'm so blessed by you and by your friendship. I knew that when you met David, like everyone said, it was different. And, you know, we've been through the ringer with a lot of things. <laughs> uh, but with David, it was instant. 
And I remember the first time I met David, Catherine looked at me and she said, I will bet you my life that I will marry David May. And I am really glad <laughs> that this day came. Your love is inspiring. Your love is beautiful. It has been a whirlwind. Both of you pour yourself so hard into everything you do, and that's so evident here, as so many people have already commented on. I wish you nothing but happiness, um, and even if it's not happily ever after, I hope it's after all happily. I get lost thinking about you Grown so fast, finding love and truth You'll find happiness and tears May your love grow and spread for years Made for the better Made for each other Made to hold on to Made to get older Made to grow stronger Made to follow through Forever I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask that you wear this ring as a reminder of the vows that we've spoken today. And just as this circle is without end, my love for you is eternal. Just as it is made of an indestructible substance, my commitment to you will never fail. With this ring, I take you to be my beloved wife. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we have spoken today. Just as this circle is without end, my love for you is eternal. Just as it is made of an indestructible substance, with this ring, I take you to be my beloved husband. Beautiful woman on earth today. Oh, you know that? <laughs> you look lovely. before God, me, and all of these witnesses, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce that you are husband and wife. David, you may kiss your bride.
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. David May. Make me feel alive.